Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Genderbender Lin playthrough. Uh, I literally just started this, and sure enough, we need the sticky note. So, without further ado, take two, and welcome back. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Oh, by the way, I'm playing on a different resolution on my monitor now, so don't be surprised if my mouse and everything just interacts differently than usual. Now, it's been a while since my last one, and if I was smart, which I'm not... Yeah, see, even Lynn says that she's being topless right now. So, basically, uh, it's been a while, so I'm pretty sure this is where we left off, because I know that the last episode was the nightclub, because my brain is finally getting back to me. I did say memory, right? Okay, never mind. Stupid question. But still. Uh, I actually have time to record right now, so let's get that over with. I'm going to leave this up just in case she does it again. I hate scrapping footage, because then I just repeat myself, and I hate repeating myself. Aha! Ahahaha! I knew it! Oh, got a burp already. That's annoying. Ugh. I hope that the mic's picking up the actual background music this time. As you can see on my sticky note, I wrote down when I started. Because I'm trying to actually get these to be 30 episodes now. I think right here is where you can branch off to the mermaid ending or not. Because I think if you don't go, then she'll find some weird excuse to bring you along, etc., and turn you into a mermaid, but... As I've said, she's going to be half-naked for... A from that point onward, for the most part, so I can't really record those just... Oh, there. Yeah, you see? Stay home, go to work with Dina. Yeah, go to work with Dina. It's Saturday, if memory... Oh! Oh. Oh, that's a good discovery, isn't it? By the way, your bra does not match your panties color. I know that women like matching colors for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's... I don't know. I'm just being an idiot. <laughs> hey, it's the Gick! I wonder, I wonder if the artist actually thought of that when they named this thing. The Gick. Genetic Confusion Chamber. Also known as... Dina's Gick. Oh god. I just realized what you could turn that into. That's a, I'm gonna stop that now, because that's a bad thing. I hope that's loud enough. Actually, I hope it's not too loud. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if I should turn up my mic. Because my headphones actually go in through my speakers so I can hear myself. So I actually have no idea what it's going to be like on the recording. I just start paying attention because I think we're going to have to make that mermaid decision soon. Yeah, I think if you don't go to work, then she'll somehow turn you into a mermaid. I think that's the mermaid ending. Superpowers. I just want to point out, instead of saying wahaha, she said niahaha. Just like what a cat would probably do. Uh oh. Okay, that's very loud. Let me go turn that off for a second. Once again, forgot about my tweet deck. There we go. Click on this, just put it back into the default window. She's really gonna grab a cup of coffee and then expect Dina not to go mad scientist? Really? You should know her by now, Lynn. Trying to find something to talk about. Because I'm really high energy today for some reason. Oh yeah, that, I forgot about the break when I had that weird stench. I really want to know what kind of stench that is, actually. As quickly as possibly. I think I need to report that, because I'm pretty sure that they misspelled that. 
or misgrammered it or whatever. Ah! <laughs> Winds up medicine. How is it medicine? Oh no, I must have misread that. That must have said machine. Derp. And now Dr. Kitty is born. <laughs> Has Nina ever been in the break room before? She almost must have. Like she had to have. Cuz I think that's why she orders coffee. I don't think I have to worry about nudity in this, because I'm pretty sure her clothes auto-show up. I'm just not sure how strict... yeah, see? I'm just not strict sure about how strict YouTube is about the whole cleavage thing. <sighs> Weird tufts of... I was trying to talk about that, Dina! Wait, so she can't turn off her sense of smell? I never thought about that. Aha! Ah, these. Why do some cats have that and some cats don't? Why is that there? I'll wear a hat. What about this thing back here? How does that have a hat? How can you put a hat on your tail and make it make sense? I mean, that thing's kind of too long to go hiding it. You know, that's very loud for me. I hope that it's picking up correctly on your guys's. Big bushy tail. <laughs> Ripped off half of her clothing. I never noticed that part before. Was Lynn pushed in face first? Or butt first? Or sorry, back first. Because I keep forgetting her shoulders might have gone in first if it was shoved properly. Hmm. If you're wondering why I'm not talking about much about much on this, is because there's not much really new to me because I've played this game so many times. Uh, basically what it's going through is it's actually using some sort of weird nano machine or goop or something on the inside like those like that goop that you can breathe in to actually change you and boom see this is the sort of thing that I'm talking about about the whole cleavage thing I'm not sure if the well actually I'm not going to point it out because I don't want YouTube to go busting me over it speaking of which okay okay I was about to ask is that her tail back there or is that the actual fur color Those are very big ears. Dina, you have like ten times the strength of a normal human now. Hitting her in the back of the he head with a chair is not the best of ideas. And now they apparently can't feel pain. <laughs> and we don't have to wear pants. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm sure YouTube doesn't care, but that doesn't mean that the world doesn't care. Oh, that face. Where are their whiskers, by the way? They don't have whiskers, what the hell? I just clued into that. You you've hard you hardly ever see an anthro with whiskers for some reason. And by the way, that's... Oh. Click. Fur is getting annoying. It will only be annoying when you have the dreaded wet fur smell. By the way, before they disappear again, these are called anthropomorphics or just anthromorphs. It basically means. Uh, what's it called? Dina, why'd you have to rip off half her clothing, by the way? Did Dina's hair get longer? No, not Dina, sorry. Lynn. Uh oh, another burp. Be right back. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get... Why do I have a gum wrapper in my room? 
fits with clothing perfectly. It fits with her hair perfectly. Oh, that's right. Dina keeps a spare pair of clothing ever since the incident. Now, sadly, when I play Dina's playthrough, I can't show that because... Uh, yeah, this, basically. Because you can actually double enhance the size from this to basically beach ball sized. But it actually shows full nudity of it happening. And she makes a bra out of her lab coat. Give me a moment here, I need to move the mic away so I can blow on my glasses. Never realized how hard it was to put it on over my headphones. But yeah, so I'm not going to be able to show you that part, but that is the official canon for Dina, just so you guys know. I'll mention it again when I skip over it, by choosing the option for her not to do that. Because thankfully they give you a choice in that respect. That is such a bland shirt. I know it's sweatpants and everything, but still, that is a very bland shirt. Especially given that hair color. Unknown mutation. Oh yeah, because that will end well. Hey, by the way, this is a possible side effect. Because that will end well. The L looks a bit like an F. Then it's her foss. What the hell does that even mean? I have nothing to talk about. This is really annoying. Outside of talking about how I have nothing... This mouse needs to disappear. We're gonna hide it. I'll hide it down here. God, that is still very visible. Ugh. There. Much better. Does it really take an hour to get to the beach? Oh! Clothing. Derp. My tweet deck still shows up? Huh. Oh, I only turned off the sound. Derp. The green cat! Oh, nope, she didn't change her clothes. Oh yeah, and the long hair has nothing to do with it. The hair and ears are fine, but it's the tail that gets you annoyed. Or, focused. Surprisingly though, even though Natalia says that this is, makes her look better, uh, if you actually choose the full furry, then she's like, okay, peace out, and she just leaves. But yeah, she's surprisingly fine with this. Why does that only have one string? Why is there only one string? There should be two. Where's the other one? That actually kind of works for the disappearing act. Wait, she's not wearing shoes? Uh, apparently, <laughs> Lynn and I both didn't notice she's never worn shoes before like this. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's why she didn't notice. Der. <laughs> Insensitivity to... How did I... Hold my... Oh, there we go. Oh, God, she can't wait... She can't eat sauce right now, because then it's, it's going to stain. Cause that's a light gray or white shirt. Oh, I almost forgot about the whole sand in the fur thing. I forgot about that. Just a moment. Why do they have ferns on the beach? Oh, wait, no. Those might be weird forms of palm trees or something. You can use your tail as a fan. It was tail, right? Hmm. <laughs> Convert the entire world into furries! <laughs> what would you turn... Natalia into, anyway. Like, how would you accomplish that? 
No, not how. What am I thinking? Monkey, maybe? Hmm. What would you turn Natalia into? Because the cat thing is kind of overdone. And dog doesn't make any sense. Would you turn her into a fox, too? Oh, fox and the hound joke, maybe! Yeah, turn her into, like, a... Like a bloodhound or whatever they're called, the hunting dogs, and be like Fox and the Hound. <laughs> it's amazing how much you forget about the Disney movies that you saw as a kid until you mention them, then you're like, oh yeah, those exist. Of course, it doesn't help when Disney's like, okay, it's going back in the vault, peace out. And then you don't see it for another 10 years. For those who don't know, Disney does this weird advertising thing where they remaster their movies and stuff, but they only sell it for a limited amount of time, then they stop making them. Like the remastered copies. That's bent, by the way. <laughs> you know I have nothing else to talk about when I start talking about the background. Hmm. And she kept flirting with me. Is that Island Isla? What does that say? And it doesn't help when your ears in the way for me to read the other thing. Core plus core something heroes. Space heroes. How can you not stand out in public? These things make you like, an, like half a... Half a foot taller. For those who go on the meters, I'd say that's about 15 centimeters, I guess. A pillow? Why not use it as a body pillow? What do you mean, never mind, Dina? You can switch that thing just about anywhere. Don't play any rage games, though. With your new strength, you might break a controller. Because <laughs> even normal humans can go like, ah, smash, with the controller. Just like, break it in half. I heard some... There's a mermaid under... Oh! 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 Holy crap, that was too close. Holy crap. Oh god, they're going to have an even harder time keeping to themselves now that they have enhanced hearing. Ouch. Oh. Oh, well, he's already got changed. Okay. I'm trusting you, game. Oh, watch the out of her tail. Okay, I got confused for a second. I thought she was trying to wash it out of the counter. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why do you have new animal features? They're not. They're from Japan. <laughs> and we use express shipping on your credit card, so yeah. Seriously, though, they, those things actually do exist in Japan. Like like the moving ears thing, I think it uses like your blood flow or something to actually detect whether or not to fold your ears down and stuff. Like, those actually exist. And now you're already corrupting Natalie! There's like Nadine. Why do they spell ton that way? Are the creators of this game British and I'm just too stupid to realize it? Because I'm pretty sure that's what they do in England. For those who don't know, Great Britain is England, the Isle of Wales, I think it's Isle, not Island, of Wales and Scotland. All mixed together. Oh, have they already mentioned the girl band? What? That's the beginning of Dan's story, by the way. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. In Dan's story, Lynn bumps in and says, yes, it's okay for you to join the band. How can you break a stress ball? Did you tear it in half? Oh yeah, they need to sort out all their driver's licenses and stuff like that. That's going to be a pain. From what I heard, it's about six months of misery. You even got to 
You even have to get your social security number card redone. Huh. Your last name is Fox. Is it really? Are you serious? I never knew about this part. I've played this ending before. I never knew that. Have I never achieved this ending before? Are you kidding me? Have I... Is this a different ending than what I've gotten before? What? This is like one of the most common endings there are. What? That sounds so dumb in my headset. Oh great, they're upgrading the GIC. I almost said it, but they're not going to. And yet there's another date with Natalia. Hmm. Ah. Uh, like you need to do your hair. How are they going to handle that with the tail? The only thing I can wear is sweatpants. So bejewel your sweatpants then. Well then you know you're going to be underdressed. And now she's here, so now you're screwed. <laughs> Even to you know she's screwed. Yeah, that... Being uncomfortable all night. Isn't that basically what all dates are? Being uncomfortable all night only to realize that it was either a success or a failure? Oh wow, she is overdressed. Huh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, I think I know where this is going, so I'm just going to preemptively... Yeah, I think I know where this is going. Yep, that's exactly where this is going. Okay. Yeah, I'd say I never got this ending before, surprisingly. So that's annoying, so I don't know... Oh, by the way, this is the end shot, by the way. That's why nothing's moving and there's no characters, because it's the end artwork. I can't believe I've never gotten this ending before. That is so bizarre. I mean, that is truly bizarre. Ending four of six. Did that thing just beep at me? I thought I turned that off. Ah, tweet deck settings are so bizarre. And then, of course, there's Dan. Hi, Dan. And as always, that is the ending of this one. I'm going to resize this while I'm at it. Yep, that's about right. Thankfully, I don't need this thing for Yale, so I think I might full screen it for Yale. Or I might not. I don't. I haven't decided yet. I can't believe this was concept art for Dan. Yeah, see, they're even mentioning it. They actually changed what that said when they actually did Dan's story. Okay, that's loud. Well, I'm going to mute this for a second. Thank you all for watching my Lens playthrough, and thank you all especially for being very patient for those of you that are waiting for episodes like these to come out. Uh, I'm going to see what I can do to kind of normalize my schedule to like one video every two days when it comes to recording them. At least because, frankly, the job search can't take up all my life because I do have ADHD, so I have a hard time focusing on job hunting for eight hours a day. No, sir, no real surprise, I don't know if there's anyone who can handle eight hours a day of job searching. The job itself is one thing, but just searching for one, you run out of ideas pretty quick. So, once again, thank you all for watching, and I'm sorry if I don't post every, anything for like a week or two. See you all next time in Yale's playthrough, by the way.